You mentioned the state that you go to where you either have to laugh or you have to cry. So are those two things, same things? Are they parts of the same expression? Is yes. it a fork in the road? What is that? I think it comes from exactly the same place. It does. Which is why sometimes when you laugh so much you end up crying. I mean, it physically comes from the same place. So when you sing and you are pushing from here, that's, you're either going to scream or laugh or cry. It's all from the same place, maybe, which is why. It, it's so personal, it's so deep. But tears of grief are different than tears of laughter. Sure, but physically, it still comes from here. Same place you go to when you want to sing. You know? Do that gesture again, it's just a great gesture. Do that gesture again. What? It comes from here. When you went you like sing. that. <laughs> Where did you learn that? I don't know. I mean, it's a very a theatrical gesture, right? The way you mm -hmm. turned your arm, the hand, and then it came well, up from here. But that's kind of what it is when you sing. You, it's starting here, and you're just, you're going to send it out there, you know? It, it's amazing. It just starts from here. I can't believe you didn't do any lessons, teachers. All this you kind of cooked up on your own. Yeah. But I thought... Singing on that scale was complicated, right? It As is. you say, you don't want to blow this out. It, it has to come from here. I have a resonator. It's I have a resonator. You know, I have cavities. There's a yes. you know breath, breath. I thought it was com. I'm an actor. I don't. It think. is complicated. So how did you learn all that complicated? Is it like is left? But you it's like you standing there, you know, doing this long monologue. That's complicated to get through that. How to say every one of those words and what syllable to stress and where to slow down and where to speed up and where to leave a gap and Come on, that's complicated to pull it off and make me. But sit I'm not there. driving a Porsche engine of this, of this energy of this, this suppression that's coming out that could blow okay, out this. That could, you're well, driving sure. this Porsche. Uh, I'm saying words. Oh, I know. You're still using your voice too, but yes, the singing adds a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes, of course. You don't want to blow this out, so you're constantly aware of keeping this. You can't sit on your throat ever. So, but come on, that's a given after a while. You know it comes from here. It's more about what you're doing with the words. To me, it's all about the words. Okay, I can sing. It's a given. We can all sing if we're in a musical. Now talk to me. That's my bitch all the time. It's not about notes. I know you've got the notes. So stop standing up there looking like you're reveling in the beauty of your own voice. I don't give a shit. I want to hear what you're saying. It's a song. It's not an instrumental piece of music. You have words. If the music is great, oh my God, that's fantastic. But then it's about the words and how you're going to deliver those syllables in the music. You know, things like, oh my God, things like how you attack a word. Not every word has to be pretty either. There can be a lot of ugly notes when you speak. It's not always pretty when you talk. When you get all wound up, God damn it, it doesn't sound good. And that's important in singing too. It's the same. It doesn't have to be perfect notes all the time. That's not real. That's not being truthful to the words. And, and how you stretch out a syllable. It's not normal to be standing there and saying, and then, you know, to take an A but not sit on A for four bar, but to milk, growing into that consonant and then squeezing out. Is of that it. a technical thing growing into that consonant? Is it sure. a thought thing? Is that an emotional it's thing? It's a thought what is that? thing to me, but it is a technical thing. You can't just sit on A. You can start by A. You can close on it as you get into it. I think of it as an arrow. It's, you're going to shoot it, and it's just going to go, 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 go before it falls. It's, it's a feeling of sending something out, but making it last, like stretching something. Holding a note straight and over vibrato. And then you put the vibrato at the very end, just to give that extra little extra thing. It's all stuff like that, that actually make it 
alive. Alive and mean more. With music, you have to use vibrato and tone and, you know, to give the word more meaning. You don't want to be stuck in just perfect notes and perfect rhythm. Then it starts to sound automatic, right? Yeah. And it's the meaning that, as yes. you shoot the arrow through the A and drive it this yes. way, that's the meaning that Louise is chasing down? Yeah, depending on where it is in the song, maybe, maybe that's your way of just sitting, making that point at the end, or maybe that word is in an angry place in the song, like that, that informs how you're gonna deliver that long note, how you're gonna stretch that vowel how are you going to attack that consonant, you know? Wow. I play games with myself. As a matter of fact, I, yeah, I love to scare myself. I, I have to admit it. I like, I like the feeling of a slight panic. On stage? Before on stage? On stage. On stage. When you've been doing something a long time, like in a long running show, you know? And it's the stuff, you've got to do something to keep yourself... And not all the time, you know, the, the, the thing to keep myself doing a show like, say, Mamma Mia for three and a half years, you have to think there's a kid out there. There's a little kid out there with their parents and they just, you know, came here from Albuquerque or something and it's a big trip and they have been looking forward to seeing the show. And you go, get out there, do that show. That's enough. How many shows do you do for other people, like the kid from Albuquerque who might be out there, who might be out there? How many times, how many times a week, eight show a week? Oh, after a while, I'd say eight a week. Come on. But then it becomes things about you're up there singing that one solo, and then I play little games with myself where I go, okay, I always breathe right there between these two phrases. Tonight, I am not breathing there. I'm just going right through. I'm going to sing those eight bars all in one breath. Stuff like that. And to the rest and of the cast, you to the rest of the cast, or to the conductor, go. What is the conductor, doing? if he's good, and that guy was great, David Holsenberg, my God, and I remember I would do little things like that once in a while, and he would just <laughs> shoot me the little note, a little look, you know, as I, and that's when it's great. That's a, that's an in music thing. And if you're good, you're going to hear it, and you're going to pick up on it, because you too are hearing this freaking show eight times a week. You should hear the difference. Yeah, yeah most people don't. In the pit, though, they are doing most this, eight shows a week, doing this, eight shows a week. Absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> but even that, it might sound like a tiny thing, but that's a huge thing to go, I'm going to sing those entire two long phrases, I am not breathing there today, and I decide that just before. And so it's like, can I make it? Yeah, and that's great. And then you make it and you go, 